I've been defined. And I don't look at it as others as Russian roulette. Rolling the dice. I look at it as I'm one of those You think that's your greatest legacy? I think my greatest legacy is that I came, I proved, and I showed that my legacy is, is always based on is my legacy. There is not one particular fight, including 2000, including 2006, including Rattar, including Mitchell Lincoln Fences, including Kelly Patrick, including me in December 17th. There are so many ingredients to the recipe of Toronto that it will be a long, long debate. Not about whether he belongs or not. I'm not talking about the Hall of Fame. I was a shoe in right, 10 years ago. We know that. But of all time at the world stand, with number of 1 to 10, not 1 to 20, not 1 to 100, that the debate will be in numbers. What was the thought process in uh, picking Joe Smith? The thought process? Yeah, how, how did you come to... Uh... No thought process, it was pain process. 25, 26 wins with 20-something knockouts. That's the guy I want to fight. Bernard, what are you going to do after that? Where you been? Where the hell you been? I've been around. You know. Yeah, you my guy. No, no, no. I've been talking. How much time? How much time we got in? Honestly. Well. No, honestly, well, just take, take a guess. How many numbers we got in? Double digits, right? Double digits, me and you, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me tell you something. What I want to do after I'm done this, yep. you haven't been paying attention all these years, Joe. Yeah. For someone, and that's my guy, to ask Bernard, how, first of all, you know I'm going to be talking somewhere. <laughs> right? First of all, let's, let's clear that up. I'm going to be talking, right? God willing. Yeah. Second of all, I'm trying to deal with HBO, and I will be color commentating. Okay. So I will make sure I keep the face, right? Yeah. Still be me, yeah. out of the way of punches. Yeah. Right? Because right. I got to be on camera. Right. Then second, right, Johan, Johan, company, Johan's uh, uh, relationship in the city of the youth, mm -hmm. in the city of with young fighters every day mm -hmm. come in this gym, right, right. Even four or five year olds, my son, mm -hmm. to help support, bring the brand back of the, and the brand back is the brand of the city of Philadelphia fighters, you know, the, We've been lost in the shuffle for a minute. We had some Sparks here, some Sparks there, and I've been keeping it alive. Then we got the Jesse Ars, the Danny Garcia, and a lot of the little ones you don't even know yet, right? It's coming out of this gym here, Johan's gym. And so that's part of my humanitarian things I'm gonna be doing, but then you gotta look at the Golden Boy promotion, as you know, over 15 or maybe 12 years now. And my personal, personal business stuff that I do in the city of Philadelphia is being productive in the city with Mary Kenny, who I was with two hours ago at 26 and Master at the Recreation Center, uh, where they just got a grant for half a million dollars to renovate that facility that I came through when I was nine years old. It's called the ABC Gym, right? That you've been there many times. 26th Street. 26th Street. So my plate is full. If you're worried about Bernard Hopkins being bored, this man behind me, named Johan, 
a senior, he's not going to let me be bored. So much to do. So you're going to be busy, but how much will you miss it? You're going to have to miss it. Or are you just ready? Nobody miss getting hit and get punched. <laughs> how about hitting? How about hitting people? No, I hit the bag. Okay. Hey, See, one thing about hitting that bag, I can hit it and make all the noise and scream, <laughs> and it don't hit back.